Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 15th of November 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages. Oh, we've got the Kraken and Pamola, the controlling man here. Uh, this is um, this is another counterpart who really wants to come into union over their counterpart's dead body, even. Yes, the devil. Because this person has a demonic attachment. I was getting that there are both males and females who have demonic attachments. These could be very attractive people, very rich, very popular, even famous people. And they all have demonic attachments, possibly because they're part of a particular coven that attached something to them. And they're no longer divine because they have the devil on their ass in their ass possibly quite uh, literally yeah the devil comes out first there's some kind of obsession here and it might not be the counterpart's obsession it might not be these divine masculine's obsession there could be an entity that's obsessed with somebody's energy okay so what's with the devil here who's the devil or i think the devil is something it's an energy that's embodied by a lot of people right now Including divine counterparts, yes. Okay, so um, what's with the devil? Clarify the devil. Why are we talking about the devil again? What's with the devil, please? Yeah, number 22, Cosmin. Yeah, these people who are part of a secret society, they've attached something to themselves willingly or somebody else has attached something to them. And then we've got the Libra energy here, the Empress B. And Aquarius in reverse here. This is the Aries, the Libra, and Aquarius I've been picking up on in the last few days very strongly. Because these people are being exposed here because they were doing spell work on me specifically. And that's why they're they're pushed to the forefront in my readings. Because their, their spell has been broken. These people have not only been doing spell work on me, but they were definitely doing it on me. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I just saw 2-2-2 two, two, two as I said that. 2-2 two, two again. 34, Zaratan, and 10, Stone Fist. So somebody wanted to control another person. These people wanted to control the Divine Feminine Collective. They were stealing energy from Divine Feminine. They were stealing Divine Feminine energy from the Collective. They were stealing money. They were slowing people down. Content creators have been slowed down by these people. <sighs> okay. So what else do we need to know about these three? Show me who's Cosmin again. Clarify Cosmin, please. Who's Cosmin? Who's Cosmin? Oopsie. Look, they're going to all fall down like toy soldiers. I'm hearing that song. We all fall down like toy soldiers. So the whole group here is going to go down one by one. The puzzle pieces are going to go down one by one. Who's Cosmin, please? Clarify who Cosmin is, please. Clarify who Cosmin is. Cosmin is the hodag, number two. Look, two, two, two. Again. Somebody could actually be born on the 22nd of February. Could be a Pisces. Could also be an Earth sign. Somebody wants revenge. Is this a male or a female? This is a cusper. This is the cusper I've been picking up on, not just me. Other people have been picking up on the cusper here. This could be a female. The Empress of the Fairies could actually be a female. Is this a female? Is this a female Pisces? Are we talking about the female Pisces here? The Naughty Bridge. 32. Somebody's been causing a lot of conflict in the spiritual community. Yeah, and it could be this Pisces female. Who is this person connected to? Could actually be connected to me. The soul fairy godmother number 21. The 21 is the world. This thing doesn't want to focus properly anymore. So it's connected to a tarot reader, even if it's not me. This could be the mother of a tarot reader or the sister. Or somebody who's competing with a tarot reader. 
the righteous cold one. I'm really bothered by the, the fact that this thing doesn't focus properly. Okay. So there could be somebody's mother possibly here. So like I said, who are they connected to? The soul fairy godmother, the righteous cold one, Leah, and Diana the fairy. These people could be a family. So there could be a whole family coming after a particular person. This could be a tarot reader's family or Divine Feminine's family who's targeting them. There we go. Who is the Empress B? Who is the Empress B? It's a snake, 42. Okay, so the snake, I talked about Revelation 13 there's a snake that's going to rule for 42 weeks that's three and a half years so the Empress B has had a channel here on YouTube and it's gonna end after three and a half years for good her reputation is going to end it's gonna be ruined after three and a half years since she started doing readings this devil is gonna end their influence is going to end. Yeah, Eileen ripped from the sun, number eight. They want a lot of power and control and they're gonna lose their grip. This person's gonna lose their grip, yes, it's true. Cutting the head off the snake. So this is a very demonic, a very demonic Libra who has a platform here on YouTube and she's gonna go forever. Even if she still keeps um, starting new platforms. This is the Libra I'm thinking about, isn't she? The Empress B. Diana the Fairy, 26. Yeah, it's uh, this female tarot reader who's also a witch. She goes into the forest and does spell work in the forest. Yes, exactly, with these dudes. <sighs> This represents the Taurus too. I think both the Libra and the Taurus come into this category here, isn't it? The Empress B represents two women, a Taurus and a Libra, isn't it? Leah! Okay, it's Empress B. There you go. She actually looks like this, kind of. Let's zoom in on her. There you go. Empress B is there. There we go. They both kind of look like this, actually. So there you go. It works either way. The Lake of Fairies, the little coven here. They have a little coven, but they also want to work for a bigger coven. But that bigger coven is just going to abuse them. Yeah. Anyway, who's the, the star in reverse? Who's the star in reverse? The Magic Bag, number four. So we've got Aquarius and Aries energy here. This could be somebody who has a lot of money, somebody who has or had prestige here with the star in reverse. Could be a healer too, but they're not very healing, are they? They've been doing it for the money. Whatever they've been doing, whether this is a celebrity or a healer of some sort or a doctor, whatever they've been doing, they've been only doing it for the money, not because they want to heal people or they want to um, create beautiful things for people. They just want money. The Temple of Fire. This could be somebody who's actually on a stage. Somebody who is an actual celebrity. An actor or a musician. But like I said, it could also be a healer of some sort. But a lot of things are coming out about this healer that they're not very healing. Look, there you go. He could be sick, by the way. That's why the star is in reverse. This could be somebody who's sick who could be dying. Is this a celebrity or some kind of doctor or healer who's dying? Number 22, Quetzalcoatl. This person could actually be a divine counterpart, but there's something wrong with them. They've got some kind of attachment, or they're sick, or they've done something together with these other devils. This could be the person who has the devil on their ass. 
this person's close to death 28 is breaking down to 10 and this is a phoenix also this person could be going through some kind of spiritual awakening they're also sick and dying so uh, they could be sick and dying because they're going through a very rough spiritual awakening that's another thing here is this person going through a spiritual awakening is this person going through a spiritual or these people? This is like a collective of people. It's not just one person, of course. All of these are collectives. These are family members. These are tarot readers who are doing spell work against other tarot readers and are they're trying to get into secret societies. And these are celebrities or healers or people in the public eye, people who have a level of respect in the world. Ziana the Fairy and Simmer. This is Empress High Priestess energy. These people could be healing actually. Or they're under somebody's spell. Let's clarify. What's going on with these people? Are they actually healing? Are they going through a spiritual awakening? They're freeing themselves. Pegasus. This is somebody who is a freedom lover or they're freeing themselves from some kind of addiction. So these people could actually be, um, they could actually be changing for the better. Are these people going to be the lake of fairies, 45? These people are under a spell or they're part of a coven. These people could be celebrities who are in secret societies here. Maybe they're going to free themselves from this. We've got a lot of winged animals here. The world. There's going to be an ending to a cycle here. Somebody could actually walk away from a coven or a group that they've been a part of. Because they're going to realize that that group was not good for them. Was not bringing them any benefits except for demons on their ass. Is this person going to actually free themselves from some kind of coven here? Maybe they're going to tell the truth about these covens. The Tree of Life, 47. And the Magic Wolf, 23. Yeah, I think this is somebody who's spiritually awakening. Who's seeing things from a different perspective. The Castle in the North. The Beast with Seven Heads. The Sea Lion in Reverse. Smash tree in reverse. Okay, so this person is, um, or these people are very powerful. They're a part of a secret society. Uh, could be the Order of the Dragon, could be Freemasons, etc. The Blue Flame. Um, I think these people are going to give up their place. They're going to try to give up their place in this group, or they're going to lose their place in this group. So, um, what's going on? Is somebody giving up their, uh, they're trying to, uh, free themselves from some kind of secret society here is this somebody trying to free themselves from a secret society that they're a part of tutor tutor the wise old lady and Sharnabon the wizard i'm feeling hot flashes i'm feeling hot right now as these cards came out so this person could be sick they could be older they could be under some kind of psychic attack or this person psychically attacking me or these people are psychically attacking me because I'm exposing their crap here. This could be somebody who's trying to protect themselves from the influence of somebody here. They're trying to protect themselves. But we do have two older people and a younger person here. So, um, some of the people in this situation could be younger, some could be older. So this is somebody who already has a level of power. Amaraj, number 29. Yeah, this is somebody powerful or these people are very powerful. And they're very triggered, that's why I was feeling hot. So these people, I don't think that they want to give up their, their power. I don't think so. These people want to hold on to power until the end, don't they? Yeah, the enemy number one, the open enemy. Yeah, these are people who are watching the spiritual community. 
and they're trying to control our mind. They're trying to control what we say. Yeah, they don't want to give up their power. That's what I'm getting here. Yes, it's true. They don't. They want to keep their secrets here. They want to hide in the shadows. And they'd rather smash you in the head than uh, anything else. But um, the snakes have been smashed. So sorry, guys. Um, those secrets that you wanted to keep, that power you wanted to maintain forever, it's going. It's no longer going to work that way, I'm afraid. The old world is over. It's the world to the old world. 21, 21. Yeah, it's an ending. Avalarian, this is my death card. It's an ending to the secrets, okay? In the age of Pisces, all these people in power who want to come at you now with the sledgehammer because you're uh, revealing their secrets. Somebody's gonna die. Some of these people are gonna die, literally. Or their power's gonna die. So this will happen very soon. 1813, this is a phoenix, and it's also the moon because of 18, and 13 is death. These people have been doing death spells also on the community, but it's going to be an ending to them. Yeah, you heard that outside, that's a confirmation. And Divine Feminine will come back into power. These people have masculine energy, whether they're male or female. They've been using masculine energy. It's the old world, okay? And now it's the return of Divine Feminine. Like I said, this is happening, whether they like it or not. Mishi Peshu. So we are becoming very good at working with the energies that they're throwing at us. We're becoming masters. Divine Feminine is becoming a master at working with this energy that you are throwing at us. And it's transmuting. We're transmuting it. But what's happening to you? The world. Yeah, Divine Feminine is going to rule the world again. Okay? So that's happening. No more dragons. Look, the dragons. They, they want to keep their secrets. Okay, so that's with the devil. That's what's happening to the devil here. But there are a lot of devils in the world. The devil is trying to possess people, is trying to attach to people, is trying to influence people. I'm feeling hot again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, it's true. Two yeses. They want to rule with an iron fist here. They want to keep their bellies filled up. But no more. No more. No more. Look, oh my god, look at all the secrets here. Look at all the moons and the wolves and the dragons. Okay, no more secrets, Krakens. Bye, Krakens. Your power is going to be ripped away from you.